friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Lainey, my pronouns are they, them, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of a cord challenge. If you follow my TikTok, you know that I make a lot of videos breaking down the prices of my cords to prove that Lolita fashion can be affordable and you can wear it on a budget. So today, I thought that I would try to build the cheapest cord I possibly can using all of the items that I bought the cheapest. I'm not including any freebies, no gifts, no sponsored anything. This is all things that I paid for out of pocket using the cheapest blouse I've ever bought and the cheapest JSK I've ever bought in to see what is the cheapest cord I can possibly come up with and do these items look good together because I highly doubt they will. Let's jump right into it. I have my lovely Excel spreadsheet that I keep, which is organized by the year I bought it, what brand it is, what it is, and the price that I paid for it. And I've gone through already and I highlighted every item in green that is the cheapest. So now you and I just need to pull the mod out and uh, put it all together. <laughs> Here's the thing though, is that I have a lot of JSKs that were the same price that I got from the Bodyline $10 sale. Um, like I have a lot of them, like, like a lot, a lot, like one, two, three, four, five is what I'm counting right now. Five Bodyline JSKs. So we're going to pull everything together and then figure out which one of these Bodyline JSKs, you know, matches. Cause I have one that's pink, I have some that are blue, some that are brown, some that are green, one that's black. Like I love my Bodyline JSKs and they were all $10, which means they are all the same price and those are the cheapest ones I have. So we're going to start out with the blouses and the petticoats and everything else like that instead. The cheapest one is going to be this one. It's by Aurora and Ariel. I got it from 42 Lolita. And by the way, I now have a discount code for 42 Lolita. It is for 3% off and that code is I Forgot Reality. So if you wanna go support me or if you wanna treat yourself to some 42 Lolita Lolita, uh, please use that discount code and it would make me forever happy. Anyways, sorry for the uh, sponsor message. Anyways, this is the cheapest petticoat that I've gotten. It is by Aurora and Ariel. It is the 12 meter at 45 centimeters long. And I paid $25 even for this guy. So this is the petticoat that we are going to pair with it. Next up, I'm going to grab my blouse. I know which one this is already. I got it secondhand off of Lace Market for $2. $2 because it was altered. And this is a blouse by Bodyline. And honestly, I can't even tell where it was altered because it just looks so clean and so cute. Here it is. It is this mega cute little shirt, short sleeve shirt. It's white with all of this pink trim on it and a ton of lace. It's in a size large from Bodyline. It fits so well. I think that is it for our main pieces, unless we want to pull out accessories, which like, I don't know, because if we did, it would be like this guy. But I feel like, uh, you know, outerwear is a little excessive. Let's go grab our head pieces though. Okay, sorry, this is so uncomfortably close to my face, um, but I grabbed my box of headwear and they're are actually two pieces that are the cheapest because I got them together bundled and they were $10 for both of them off of Lace Market, so second hand, which means that they were $5 each. First is this really, really cute voter hat that someone handmade with a yellow bow. It's adorable. And the second one is in this guy. If I can pull them out, maybe I should have pulled it out in advance. Here it is. And it is just this really plain and simple baby yellow beret because you know I love my berets. So we're gonna keep both of these with us and see which one, you know, matches a little bit better. So it's either gonna be the beret or the boater hat. So the next thing I need to do is pull out my socks. I looked it up, they are my yellow heart cream socks, which were $1.55, which I think are these. They are by Miss Socks. I have, I have these in uh, three different colors now because I love them. I have them in white, in cream, and then with little brown bows at the top. Now let's grab our wrist cuffs. So I started keeping all of my wrist cuffs in this little box with all of my Lolita accessories. So my cheapest wrist cuffs would be these guys, these pink ones that I made for a $1.25 in material cost. They were super cheap because I went to a fashion outlet, no, textile outlet to get all of the material. So they were like super cheap to make. They're really easy and quick to make. So I'm gonna count those because I did spend, you know, material cost on them. I also have, you know, some accessories, but most of these <laughs> accessories were freebies, except for, I guess this necklace, which was $5 on Lace Market because it broke. So I guess we can count this guy maybe 
but uh, make it like an optional cost. You know, optional cost, why not? Well, yeah, we need some accessories in there, you know? Yeah, literally like, freebie. Stole it from my cousin, <laughs> found on the ground. Literally like all of these were free in my box. Freebies? I get so many accessory freebies. I don't think I like spend money on them like ever. So we're gonna we're gonna count this accessory as my five dollar purchase of the day. Okay, so next we're gonna pick out our shoes. I keep all of my shoes on the back of this door on like a hanger thing, which is kind of hard to see because of the shape of the room. It's like this random add-on. And I have, you know, quite a few pairs of the latest shoes. I have two free pairs of shoes in here. One that I stole from my cousin, another that I got sponsored. So we're gonna go with some of my paid for shoes, which would be my pink tea parties, if I can pull them out. And these are by, were they honey cherry? They might, I always forget if these are honey cherry and I think they are, but I seriously cannot remember if they're from a random AliExpress store, if they're from honey cherry, but they were 2019 and I know I have a review for them. $20.19 are my cheapest Lolita shoes. And let's put all of everything that we have together and go pick out a main piece. Let's go. Okay, it is time to find a main piece. I have my blouse, my petticoat, my necklace, everything on, even my socks and shoes. So we are going to find our main piece for today. Like I said, it's between like five dresses. So let me show you all of those. We have this guy from Bodyline, which I guess we maybe could do. There's like not a ton of pink in it. It's more of a purple, but there is yellow to pick up the yellow beret. Uh, maybe. Let me know if you guys agree with the dress I end up choosing. Otherwise, if I should have gone with a different dress, let me know. The next one we have is this cherry gingham one. It's folded over right now. This one does have a lot of pink in it. So it could work, but there's no yellow in it. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Then we have a green one. It's Nadia Sweet to the World, also body line. This has yellow in it. <laughs> I forgot this had yellow. I thought it was just pink and green. I think this is probably going to be the winner, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna show you the other ones just so I don't forget. The other one that I have is this like biscuit cookie print, I forget what it's called, with like browns and pink, which maybe could work too, to be honest, because there is some pink in it, but it's not really like a yellowy brown. It's like a pastel buttercup yellow. And then we have one Bodyline dress left, which is Sweet Tart by Bodyline, which in my head was the one I was going to choose for this because like it does have a little bit of yellow in it. What do we think? Pink or green? I don't know. Maybe green? Maybe pink? Oh man, I feel like both of these could actually work with this. You know what? My gut said green when I picked it up. We're gonna go with green. Let me know if you think pink would have been better though because I'm second guessing now. So we're gonna we're gonna throw on Nadia's Sweet of the World then and see what this cord looks like all together. Oh, and by the way, I went with the beret instead of the boater hat. I figured I would just, you know, swap it out anyways and see what it looks like. Yeah, this is what it looks like. How do I look? Do I look cute? Let's go get a full shot so you can see it. Okay, so this is what the coordinate looks like. Let me know what you think about this. Let's just go over everything that we're wearing right now. We have the secondhand beret. No idea what brand it is. For $5, we have our Bodyline $10 JSK. We have our $2 Bodyline blouse, secondhand. Our $5 milkshake pink necklace. Our $1.25 wrist cuffs. Our $1.55 Miss Socks heart socks. And our $20.19 honey cherry. And of course we have our Aurora and Ariel petticoat too. So I added all these up. I suck at math. Let me know if I made a mistake. But in total, I got that this entire cost, including a petticoat and accessories, cost $69.99. So 70 bucks for all of this. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you like the cord. This has been your favorite non-binary Lolita, and I will see you in a week on next Friday. Bye.